Hello world of truth seekers, how are you doing? Let's have a joint and contemplate on 2021 coming to a close. But before we do, have you heard Britain needs a booster? Didn't know whether there was a plan A, B, C, D, E or whatever. But to be perfectly honest with you, I can say a lot of things about this world. But surely even the ones that swallowed it the first time round can't be dumb enough to fucking fall for it twice. Or can we? So I always thought I spent a lot of my life in the world in a place where I didn't really fit in. I didn't really care for anybody because nobody really cared for me. But I'm actually quite a person that wanted to explore his knowledgeable side. And do you know what I've come across? I've come across that the world is really, really controlled in more manipulative ways than you could even imagine. Even from a psychologist's point of view that fucking like labelism, oh yeah, that just starts an argument. We all know that. Boris, you're going on about, like, rest in peace, the person who got shot out of the members of parliament, but aren't you the one that's causing all the trouble with America to start all these fucking terrorism shots? I mean, come on, Boris. You're best mates with Bill Gates. What is Bill Gates this day and age? Oh, yeah, an Epstein Islander. More to the point... (laughs) You've just ruined the country. Nobody likes you. Nobody particularly trusts you. And to be honest with you, no one gives a fuck about what you say no more. Because it's over. You've given out as many jabs as you possibly can and even they're not protected. But yet you still expect the unprotected to get protected to protect the protected from the unprotected. Why don't you just use a condom with fucking no with with holes in it? And expect to fucking ban babies. You can't do that, can you? Because you're all running a pack of nonces. Like a fucking cult. And I just don't understand. You've got people on there. Oh, what happens if it's a scary thought that the unvaccinated were right all along? No, not if we were right all along. We are correct. This, you don't need emotional blackmail and and um, losing of your job, everything you've worked up, because you know fine well that a lot of people will fall for shit like that. Because at the end of the day, it's your livelihood, it's your life, it's everything that you've ever worked for. But these ain't no different people to us. What, because they've got a fucking head start in life and they've ended up going to a posh place just so they could be manipulated into a way of being. That's what school's for, it's to program your fucking weak mind. Flu ride in your water just so it dumbens you down so you can't be asked. There's even Viagra found in water, fucking women's pills, the lot. You name it, there's more in water than there is in the fucking pharmacy, I'll tell you. And believe me, I'm going to get stoned and meditate for an hour. Do you want to know why, Boris? Because I hope that your fringe gets friction and goes right up in the air. Because if it does, then just remember it's pointing at somewhere where we come from. The fucking universe. And it's watching you, you prick. Plan B, flatten the curve. Doesn't matter if it takes two weeks or two years. But guess what? We're still already there. And guess what else? It's never going to fucking stop. Plan B, because there's loads of cases of coronavirus going around the world. You're not getting bored of it yet. I get fucking bored of it. Do you know why? Because at the end of the day, it's night time. And at night time, I go to sleep and I wake up the next morning and it's just fresh bullshit. How come people still want to swallow all this crap? Come on. Your statistics are about as accurate as the PCR test. And the PCR test is about as accurate as Dr. Fauci's under oath obligational uh, speech. It was nothing to do with gain of functions. That's about as accurate as Epstein Island not being for paedophiles. And it's about as accurate... As, how can I put this? Um, Boris not being friends with ones off them islands, you know, like Prince Andrew. Uh, also, that you've got Bill Gates, but yet they're being pally pally. You can see what they're doing. They tell you for years previous to what they're going to do in a big, massive speech on the telly. And then everyone giggles in the background in the crowd because they just haven't got a clue that all they want is entertainment. That's what BBC News is for. It entertain you with fear. So. Then it gets your emotional side. I'm not saying you're bad people, but if you've had your jab and you fucking believe in your jab, fucking shut up because you haven't got a VIP pass to give everybody else a fucking hard time. So we get a jab. What? So if you're so protective, why should we get the same protection? It's not protecting you from being protected. It doesn't make sense to you fucking dumbass pricks. Do you not get it? The reason why they wanted you to sell you all of the panic buy fucking petrol. So the simple fact is, right? First lockdown, no cars driving about, yet sell, sell by dates and all that bollocks, you know how it is. Guess what? Loads of petrol, now we need to sell it. Use your fucking head. These people are laughing at you. Honest to God, right? The only one that's probably not on, not actually in, a, in awareness is probably fucking Biden, because he's that fucking dementia ridden or under so fucking deep hypnosis, 
He's obviously just being told what to say. Very badly, by the way. He's doing it very badly. I mean, come on. That's like saying the McCanns didn't kill fucking Madeline. That's like saying Marilyn Manson wasn't a murderer. Are you for fucking real? Get a grip with yourself. What is wrong with the world? I'll tell you what's wrong with the world. It's undereducated, and that starts in school because you're programmed into like, oh yeah, go give him pipe dreams and sold fucking nightmares when you get kicked out into a place where you have to survive. Well, do you know what? All those people used to look down on noses at people who couldn't work or who were homeless just because they wanted to support a bit of influence in their own life because uh, if you have a pound less than somebody, that you're not as good as them. That's just an invisible ladder that doesn't exist. It's bullshit. We're all equal. We're all the same. We're all human. Why should the fuck we have to protect you when you're telling us to get something to protect that's not protecting you? It's a fucking spike protein, namely with genome fucking DNA change and fucking capabilities with fucking parasites to then put it in the direction of where they need it. Get a grip.